YouTubers, and welcome to part two of the wild yeast experiment that we started you know, about a week ago. So we've had, this is now the wild yeast, what it looks like, it has bubbles, I haven't opened it so, and it smells mildly alcoholic, and very slightly a gherkins, so maybe not doing an a gherkin jab, even though it's been scrubbed and sterilized. So we've got ourselves some cultured wild yeast, which is pretty cool. So we were very lucky in that sense that we managed to actually collect wild yeast. Uh, you may remember that I was also doing sourdough bread. Now, this is what it came out like now. It's a bit bigger. But I've added some water to it. If you smell it, which you can't, but I can, it's actually um, it's got a acetic acid vinegar. So there must have been a bug that had walked across the lid or something or got in when we were first doing it. So what I've done is I've taken some out and just covered it in tissue paper and added a little bit of sugar in to see if we can't culture some mother of vinegar. It's just to show that it can go either way. I mean, there were two jars, one of them turned into vinegar, the other one is quite nice actually. So what we're going to do is we're now going to torture test this lovely little yeast because we've cultured some and we don't know how much alcohol it can take and that's one of the problems. So what we're going to do is I've got myself a two litre bottle which is sterilised, lovely lovely, and I've got myself 207 grams, because that's how it came out, of sugar. Now I'm going to check it with a hydrometer after I've done it but this should come out around 5.56% and that's a pretty good starting point. So I have my container, my fermenter in this time, two litre just bottled, sterilized, rinsed out uh, with just tap water, lovely soft water so don't need to worry about it too much. And I've left a bit of a space because we're going to be adding the sugar and then adding some of this yeast. So I got sterilized worktop, sterilized funnel, sterilized everything. And step one is to pour in the sugar. So there we have 207 grams of sugar in here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to liberally, mm, I suppose, fish out, strain out a little bit of the, since it's sterilized, you can use that, it's only a one time deal, and just pour the liquid in. Might as well do it up to the top. So it's taken on a bit of a pink colour, but that should be fine. I'm hoping this goes well. And I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon, since it only is half the amount. I'm going to use the old finger funnel, since the other one's a bit. Just make sure, a little blood more. And that should be enough to ferment this two litres out. If it's going to do it, it's the best chances of it to do it now. Now give it a bit more of a shake, because we're going to test this with a hydrometer. So I want to give it as much of the sugar to be soluble as possible. So here is my sterilized and freshly rinsed hydrometer. We've got Hopefully, somewhere around the 5.56% mark. So it is teetering right on between the red and the blue. So, actually, 6.5%. <gasps> it's a rough guess, so, you know, put it there so you don't cause any trouble. So what we're going to do is I'm going to label this up and we're going to see if this ferments. And if it does, then we're going to take this yeast and use it, you know, if it tastes nice and, uh, you know, it works, we can use this for some of our fermenting. Awesome. So I've got my little label, which just says wild yeast on it. Add in the, what the percentage is going to be, hopefully. So 6.5% and I'm just going to tape it a 
liberally on, and hopefully this yeast, this wild yeast, should ferment pretty quick. So I've got my uh, tester here. We've got some leftover yeast, quite a lot of leftover yeast. So not entirely sure what to do with this yet. I may freeze it to see uh, see how well it does frozen, since this is the first generation of yeast. So it should be a bit of fun. So I'm going to leave this one out the way and uh, somewhere nice and warm, and we'll see if this ferments. So I will catch you guys later. So stay tuned for part three. Cheers, guys. So that's the video over. But don't worry, if you look up above and to your left, you'll see some previous videos that I've done. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Uh, the subscribe button is down below. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. You know, get the community going. Leave a comment in the section below. It really gives me some motivation and it's really good to uh, get some feedback from you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck in your brewing endeavors. Cheers.